How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It is week 18 of 2023. We've got a lot to talk about today that's happened in the Horizon 5 community lately. We've got leaks, we've got updates, we've got news, just loads to talk about. So let's jump straight into it. We'll start off with all the Twitter updates as there's always lots of information over there. Forza Motorsport 7 had a bit of downtime a couple of weeks ago. It's not really important to the Horizon 5 community really, is it? There was an issue in Horizon 5 to do with gearing where cars would start in reverse gear sometimes and cause players to have to shift twice to sort of get going if you were running manual transmissions or manual assists. That was a very strange issue. Now, because of that, they brought out a hotfix update just a few days ago, which addressed this issue along with another issue, which was the Horizon open leaderboards not displaying correct things. Here's the full change log of the hotfix update that came out a couple of days ago, fixing those few issues. Now, issues wise, there wasn't really anything else over on Twitter. It's been a rather, rather clean couple of weeks of no major issues. Obviously, Series 20 came out last week as well, and we now have the full change log and the special graphic with that. Here's the special graphic showing the main features. We already know all about that. But as I said, we have the full change log now, which will show us everything that was added in the update, including all of the fixes. Now, fixes are important, so we're going very quickly going to roll through everything that was fixed within the Series 20 update. Here are all of the general bug fixes fixed in Series 20, all of the cars related issues that were fixed, all of the accolades that were fixed, event lab and multiplayer fixes are here, and then miscellaneous ones such as rally adventure and PC specific changes are here. It's always good to look at the full change log of an update just to see exactly everything that was fixed. So those are the full Series 20 fixes. What else have we got? Well, let's take a look at some leaks. Now, the first one comes from GT Planet. That's where I first noticed this, thanks to Apple Slipper. There is another car called the 2023 Cupra Dark Rebel Concept. Now, this has a very similar car, which was added to Horizon 5 a couple of months ago, you may remember. Well, over on TikTok, somebody commented on a video about this car saying, will this release in Forza Horizon? And Cupra themselves replied with this little emoji reply here. Now, this might mean absolutely nothing, or maybe they're hinting, maybe they're giving us a slight hint that this Cupra, this concept Cupra is also coming to the game in the future, probably not anytime soon, but at some point. So this isn't really a leak, but we, we class this as potential future additions. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? Is this nothing or might we see this in the game in the future? It'll be nice to see. If you're finding this video helpful, guys, and you don't want to miss more updates, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single one. Let's continue. There has been some more leaks thanks to the Series 20 update. What you'll notice is every time there's a big update, people will go through the files looking for any new leaks, any new changes. Well, they have done that with Series 20 and not really anything has been found. It's usually this guy, TGR55, who finds most things. And you can see what he says here. He didn't really find anything other than three new badges, which I presume are these three images here. So these are potential new badges coming to the game. Um, he did say how he found some files talking about some environments and circuits, um, but these are all circuits and tracks from Forza Motorsport. So this is probably nothing to do with Horizon. And he also saw some wording and talk about PDLC 3. Now Hot Wheels and Rally Adventure were spoken about as DLC 1 and DLC 2. Now to see a little bit of talk about a DLC 3 might be sound might sound quite interesting to some of you but I don't think it's anything to get too excited about. They're, they're known to do random stuff like this, call things DLC 3 when it's really not a DLC. So if you've read this and you think, oh, are we getting a DLC 3? Don't get your hopes up too much. So what else have we got? Well, the next update for Horizon 5 is going to be Series 21. Explore the Horizon. We know we're getting photo mode updates. We know we're getting all the other things as well. Well, the one I want to focus on is overlanding modifications. And there's lots of people don't seem to understand what overlanding modifications mean. I want to look into these and see if we can figure out what's going to be coming in Series 21 based off what we can see here. Now, straight away, if you Google overlanding mods or overlanding, you can see overlanding is a combination of remote travel, off-roading and camping. And if you go straight to images, you will see lots of cars that look like they belong in Forza Horizon, to be honest. Cars that have tents on the top, you know, roof racks, roof boxes, 
you know, the type of car you will take off-roading and camping all in one. So it's very interesting to see that we're going to get overlanding modifications to the game. Now, obviously they're not going to be usable. We're not going to be able to go and drive in the middle of a forest in Mexico and camp. It's not really how Horizon works, but it seems like we might be able to have lots of mods and upgrades coming for cars, mainly body kits maybe. I'm interested what route they're going to take with that. If you guys can think how they're going to implement this into Forza Horizon and have something Horizon related where it, where it'll actually work, because, I don't know, I can't quite piece it together. But one of the other ones actually says Pathfinder Accolades. Now, if we take a look at the previous update live stream of Horizon 5, we actually got the developers talking about these specific things, and this is what they have to say. Uh, overlanding modifications. Uh, Chris, what is overlanding? Overlanding is uh, it's, it's basically camping with your car. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, think roof tents, think all the kind of things you'd, you'd want to take with you when you go out into the wilderness with your car. Mm, very fashionable. Uh, then we've got new cars and Pathfinder accolades. Uh, we won't say any more about that. We'll okay. wait till next series, but we'll let the community... Um... So it sounds very along the lines of what I'm saying, really. I think the Pathfinder accolades are going to be something along the following of getting a certain car, putting a certain overlanding base modification on it, like a tent on the roof or something, going to a certain location at night and staying put or something, sort of simulating that you've gone camping with a certain car. I can imagine that's my best guess at what a Pathfinder accolade will be. And it might be get from A to B, only being off-road with your tent. You get what I'm trying to say. I am questioning how cool it's gonna be since it's a Horizon game, you can't camp, but we'll see. What else has gone on lately? Well, there has been basically an update for the new hubs that Horizon 5, or sorry, Playground Games have brought out lately. The Troubleshooting Hub and the Suggestions Hub. Here's our first Community Hubs update with insights from both programs. So this is a very insightful post that where they basically go into detail about why they made each hub, how it's working and what they think so far. They actually broke down a few things such as the car voting where they went down lots of the new cars that have come out lately and basically explained that look these are some of the most voted cars that you asked for and we gave you them. So this is really encouraging people to keep voting on the suggestions hub for the cars that you want in the game because they genuinely are listening. Not only that, but there are the features as well, such as the new photo mode improvement. This was a top 10 community request in the creative features. So once again, they've listened to us on that. And then the NVIDIA DLSS on PC was the second voted item in this category. It's, there's just lots of things that they're basically saying, look, you asked for this. It was highly voted. We've done it for you. Let's keep it going. Same with the troubleshooting hub as well. They gave us a bit of an update on the troubleshooting hub, which is a more newer thing than the suggestions hub. And again, they go through details about how it works and why you should keep using it and what they're changing and what they do with it. And something that I don't talk about very often is they keep reiterating that there is an actual list that they have given us that has issues that they are not planning on fixing. It sounds bizarre, but there are issues and there are things that are happening in Horizon 5 that they are just not going to fix. And they have a list of all of these things that they're just not gonna fix. So if, if there's, I think one of them is actually the Toyota Supra gear shifting animation. That's something that lots of people have noticed. They're not fixing that. They have told us that this is this is by design or we're just not gonna fix it or we can't fix it. So it's, if you're having an issue and it's annoying and it's just not been fixed yet, it's worth checking this list as well just to see if it's actually by design or if it's just never going to be looked at. This is sort of the general update on these hubs. It was quite interesting and I suggest you read through it all. Once again, keep using the troubleshooting hub, keep using the suggestions hub, please. That's everything we have to talk about today, guys. I will see you all later.